What a day. It's always a special day. New Year's Day and Rob Cross trying to do special things. How close can Doby get in this tense opening leg? Yeah, it's a long match, but this first leg might decide quite a bit. Tops it is. 18, double 18 was the alternative. 91. Pressure in by 89. Can Dovey pinch the opener? Brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. Ruthless. And Dovey does strike first. So much opportunity and meaning in the in this match. Just going forward. It had to be. That first dart was perfect for Doby. Yeah, and he's really set himself up nicely to create yet another break of throw here in this match. Real loose last one from Rob Cross. Big dart at double ten. Is it going to be three straight breaks of throw? Yeah. It is. Six starts, 280 points. Yeah, he set up a potential 12 dart leg here. Nothing that Doby can do about it. Well, he can pressure. That's something he can do. Will those first six starts cop Chris Doby? Cross leads the treble 17 and then the red bit in the middle. So Doby. 53. Has responded superbly after that poor start to the leg. This for the opening set of the quarter final. One dart. That was way off. And Cross, one of the best parts of his game, seems this year, is his finishing. This to stay alive in the set. He'll get one dart. And it's at a double 16. Hasn't missed this too much during this tournament. 52. But he misses it there. Yeah. Uh, fancy Chris here. Pulled low. Yes. That one bang yes. in yes. the middle. Chris. Far from his best, but Chris Doby rescued by 118s in the last two legs. For Doby, that was total control, wasn't it? A setup and two legs up. With throw, with, you know, but uh, now it's Rob attacking throw. And now he is. And it, settled down. Yeah, absolutely. Doby had a treble, uh, treble this visit. And Cross had everything in the treble. Make a little note of that leg two, set two jump. It may yet be very significant. Well, leg three might be very significant. He's only on a nine dart leg. Completely burst to life. All because he won a leg. He had no right to win. New Year's Day history at the Ali Pali. I wonder. And another. His face there tells you everything. Angry because it was so perfect for him yes. to follow it up. And he loves that treble 18 setting up. I know it didn't look like it last leg, but that is something he adores using that treble 18. And the double finish as well. But he didn't get the crack at the double. But he is buzzing and he feels great. And he has two darts for double eight. And that's the part of the board he loves best to finish on. But it wasn't a nine, but it was an 11. The way he's battled back. Nine. Well, this will be some way to win a set at the World Championship in a, <laughs> in a quarter final. Ooh, he threatened. He got the first start of this uh, earlier. Not this time. 
91. Well, he's missed his last four darts over on the side of the board. Never looked likely, did it? Yeah, he's thinking there should be a negative eight segment so I can get back to tops. I think that might be that's five missed darts to win the leg and force a deciding leg. He's missed his last seven darts over that side of the board at 16 and 8, and it's now double 18. Rob Cross misses one for the set. That's a pretty big let off. Eight. Doby now with three in hand for double four, and if he gets it, we'll have the throw in a decider. So that was a pretty important miss that Cross just had. I wonder whether Tops will be Chris Doby's double of choice from here on in, John. Well, it looks like he's going to end up losing it. Six, one, eight, he's already for Doby. How quickly things can turn. One way, then t'other John. And even more so with our set format. One, one, four, yeah. I mean, what, what double will he get to? I, I'm thinking he goes to the tops for sure here now because he's at 54. Yeah. And uh, he hasn't. He doesn't want to go anywhere near that 32 anymore. Chris Doby with a fantastic 12 data. 15 missed doubles, obviously. Ten of those, John. Ten have been at 16 and eight. The one thing about that, though, is it's it's almost been rendered irrelevant by the score line here. He's he can afford to have some bad stuff in the past of this because it hasn't cost him in the least overall. He's back on double sixteen. Cross with the one eighty. Ninety-seven. Richard required thirty-two. And here he is at thirty-two. The hold throw. Double eight. Yeah, for the and he's starting to figure it out. And Dobie's won the last four legs. Sixty-five. Oh, be at uh, fifty-six after twelve. Your opponent not on a finish. You're going to feel uh, pretty good about things. Cross will, but he's going to be under some pressure here. Because he needs this leg to save the set, and Doby is poised. Gotta go. Got to go. Just not happening for Rob Cross. He's sticking with double 16. Yeah. And he's finally hit double 16. Six. And it's three sets to oh, nil to Chris Doby, who has total control. Do you know what, John? The best percentage a treble 20 hits in the tournament. 64. Chris Doby. And that has gone up tenfold in this match. 11 data coming in. Six consecutive legs. He, he has that look of somebody who knows he's in total control, but has got to just keep focus, keep the blinkers on, stay in that zone. Well, he gambled, not going the ball route. 
Travel 17. And the bull. And this with Rob Cross on 32. What punishment. Unbelievable. And look at the emotion. He doesn't very often vent that out there, but he just had to there. A mammoth outshot. Because when you lose a set, your legs are a race stew. Fantastic. Fantastic from Dobie. 104 is match average. And let me tell you, he has been that good. Well, what a way it would be to win the set now with the big fish, the 170. I mean, this is just too good. It's too good. A bull. And he clearly didn't need to go for it, but he is enjoying himself now. I, I, I thought he was just going to hit the single 10, John. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Not a bit of it. Yes. Magnificent from Chris Doby. This is, I would say, right up there with one of the best performances of his entire life. Well, this time he will go for the ball. Maybe that's why he didn't go for the ball last time. Maybe he's just not feeling it. No heroics from Dobie this time. <laughs> not quite. But that was fabulous. Yeah. That... Well, it would be normally routine for him. And it is, though. Hangs on. <laughs> Kind of a mock celebration in this set. Played with freedom. Uh, and also some necessity, though. I like that down to 81. I mean, to me, this, I, I love this leg. The three 140s, the 81 out, usually in two darts. It's To me, it's the ultimate kind of darts leg for a top player. Well, he doesn't have to go with the, with the bull way or anything. Well, maybe he should have. Yeah, maybe he should have. That's the second time that he's done that. But last, last time, Doby took out 161. Oh, this time it's double 11. 120. <laughs> I can only think that Rob really is not comfortable going for the bull at this point because. The one time he did on the 170 was nowhere near. There was another occasion early in the match that it, it doesn't make sense to give Doby those chances, but he got away with it. Yes. And he's got a set on the board. Off we go. Result: Doby nine, cross eleven. We can't find the treble here, John. And cross. You know, comfortably after 12 darts, this could be a 14 dart leg, and Doby still in the 200s. Doby averaging 88 in this sixth set. And you want to miss outside if you miss. That's proper. You don't want to leave 10. Yeah, a little raise of the eyebrows after he finally hit a treble. Presumably too little, too late. Yeah. Four sets to nil. Now four sets to two. And Rob Cross has the dance. He's wilting, John. Is it three consecutive sets? Okay, well, he wants to stay at that target again. Again, it's awkward when you've missed the target, but you still got to stay there. Unless he chose for double double. Oh, he's, okay, he was going to go for 42 thirds. 74. 36, but it's a chance for Doby to redeem himself. That is buckle. 
So just one big treble needed from Doby to leave a one treble out. He'd love all three. That'll do. He can come back for the match if Rob isn't perfect on this visit. Fantastic drama. No finish. So is this the moment? Is this the biggest moment in Chris Doby's career? He needs the ball for a place in the World Championship semi-final. That close! Rob needs 50 to keep this thing going. His usual approach, a perfect single 18 to leave that double 16. No problem whatsoever, Rob Cross is still alive, he's won three sets on the drive from 4-0 down. In fact, Rob now cruising down, thinking about 12 dart legs. Well, I want 40 is the minimum requirement for Doby. Got to stay there, hasn't he? Got to stay there, brilliant. Well, at least he's left to finish. Yeah, well, we'll see what, how Rob manages this attack. Well, now he's going straight for the 17s. No question asked, but does he go for the ball? Does he? Or he did, and it was his best effort yet, but still not good enough. It's scarcely believable as Chris Doby led four sets to nil. Rob Cross now throwing to make it four sets apiece. Unbelievable! What a comeback! Well, yeah, it's... The New Year's brought us this gem. It didn't look like it was particularly going to be too interesting. How wrong we can be. Always just assume things will play out in an obvious manner. This has done nothing of the sort. Rob Cross has not been in front at any stage in this match. Is he about to? Wow. His first touch plus out of the match comes in the deciding set. All about pressure. And, and that, that is it there, yeah, isn't absolutely. it? Absolutely. In a nutshell, that. 48. Robbie Rimmel, 130. All about the pressure. And what else it's all about is the first dart. The first dart that Rob throws here, whether it's, it's still alive. Needs the trouble to leave bull. He's hit that. He's already had a ton plus out in the first leg. A 130 out on offer in the second leg on the ball. Good. his comeback not in world championship history but in darts history oh and he's turn a pitch and toss and that's what these two have been doing and chris doby shows immense character and he shows what that first dart in the treble can do for you it did pull those other two in with it but cross now he'll be on a great finish a 110 He's had a 117 out, a 130 out, and he could win this match with a 110. He never had a ton plus out in the whole match up to this set. He could win it with three consecutive. But Doby shows fantastic character with a 180 and a 140. Treble 18 for Cross to set up match start. And I have to say, Doby, it looked like he had gone, John. 
Yeah, but he managed to get a 12 dart, 12 darts to leap double and needs that double 10. And oh, it's so much justice for Toby. He deserves a chance to fight back a little bit here. At this stage. Rob Cross can sense it. Rob Cross can feel it. He's going to go for the treble 19. 43. And that is an invitation that might just help Chris settle a bit. He still needs some luck because he does. you'll have to finish the one five two or hope cross can't get this set up and he is getting it set up. Oh, what a shot on the dirt. Oh, he can't. He can't. What a shot that would have been to save the match, but instead it's 93 left, a treble 19 and a double 18 away from the semis, away from history. Double 19. He went for double 19, double 18, and it hasn't worked out. So Doby, who bravely, bravely battled back, can he force the tie break? Yeah. Brilliant from Doby! Brilliant! With a score standing at four sets all, two legs all, the match must now be won by two clear legs. Should the match reach 5-5, five five, the 11th leg will be a sudden death leg. <laughs> Lost his way, didn't he? Robbie Boyle, 150. Only catch is whoever wins this won't be able to sleep for a week, probably. What a dart, what a visit. What a time it would be to take out 124. Well, he missed it for the match. Frustration, one miss to break at the ball. Second time he's had that equation. First one for a match, this time for a break. And cross holes and on we go. Now the pressure reverts to Doby. For a magnificent 11 data. Well. It's okay for now. Can Cross put the heat on with two big trebles? Six. Zero Six. heat, Six. but Six. You, you don't want to start missing a side and getting down to an awkward double. You want to hit it right away. No. Double four. Double two, and it's getting awkward. Nice brush. Oh, that's He's a brushed. smart, smart yeah, move. Absolutely. That's absolutely the bright move there. Yeah. Without a doubt. He won't be busting here, though. No, he won't. <laughs> well, he hopes he's not going to. Oh, the pressure. That's five he's missed now. Six he's missed. Yeah. Whoa! Oh, 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 wow! Yeah, the one two to stay in the world championship. And of all the things, it's the hardest to do. First thing to go, and that's under that excruciating pressure. Well, look at that stat. Doby 60 darts at double. Nearly twice those that Rob Cross has. He's had 17 180s, nearly twice that Rob Cross has hit. What a leg, 140 cross, 180 wow. Doby, 180 cross, ridiculous. Well, it's clear that Cross doesn't want to fall behind in the match ever again by that response to the 180 of Doby. And a set-up visit. Oh, 
Ooh. And he leaves double 18. Oh, After nine darts. Ten dart leg, maybe. Wow. Under this sort of pressure. Wow. Ford Robbie required 36. Whisper it quietly. Still got Littler against Dolan to come. Good. Ten dart right. leg! Ten Good on earth! <laughs> Stay in it, John! <laughs> What? Yeah, but Cross needs something really special here in order to threaten Doby truly. Oh, yeah, so get it. Two treble 19s would work. Yes, he's left the finish. <laughs> this is just brilliant. We've been going nearly two hours, John. And you need the good setup play once you miss. The first start, and that is good. Well done, Chris Doby. But this 170 is for the match. I mean, it's unbelievable stuff. But if we see a couple of treble 20s go, the mic might drop to the floor. Keep a tight hold, my friend. But there's still pressure on Doby here. He's got to get this, otherwise it could be over. Thirteen for tops. I think one dart for Doby. One dart has gone. This to complete a quite astonishing comeback. Can scarcely believe it when Doby led four sets to nil. Rob Cross's wife Georgia. For the match. Oh, Cross wins one of the greatest games you will ever see at a world championship or ever. It's desolation and despair for Chris Doby, who led by four sets to nil. He banged in 17 180s, but he's lost as Rob Cross produces. A miracle! But this? Well, there was an option to go to the bullseye. Brendan's pretty old school. He won't incorporate the bull like that very often. So he's coming back to look at 101. One treble combo finish. Ninety-four. And it require 101. Yeah, it's a good break opportunity to start his year. Game and he gets it, the 101 on the double 16. Brendan Dolan and Littler has a little raise of the eyebrows. And he does get himself down to a two dart checkout on the Dolan throw. If Brendan doesn't take this, there is a very real chance this first set is flipped around. He isn't going to take it. Oh, good third dart, though, just in case. Just to keep the set going. Oh, looks looks like he's looked all, all tournament up to this match. And it's as if he's settled in officially now. And with the throw, watch out. He'll need a major. Capitulation from Littler to get back and take the set. Well, we know he likes to leave the 170. We've seen it as well all tournament long. Crowd pleasing. Although he does not always go for it. There's no need to go for it, but he is so far ahead that he might do anyway. Mighty. He's got the option. He's asking him. It's not a committee, Luke. Oh, Turns out it was, and they made the wrong decision. Yeah, I mean, doesn't look so good in the end, but he's got more than enough time to fix it. Yeah, if Brendan's in the mid 200s there, maybe you think about, I'll, I'll go the sensible play. He's got plenty of time. Double 10. Takes the first set, having lost the first two legs. 
The Nukes engine is up and running, and Ali Pali is on its feet for the teenager once again. Out of 70. Oh, it's good. It's really good. It's real proficiency on that travel 19 for Luke Littler. Yeah, 212 ahead against the throw. That's a little bit of Brendan not being very good and a lot of Littler being very good. But, well, Brendan's rectified it, left it a, a doable out. It's not doable anymore because Littler's tightly that up in two darts to break the throw. We said how dangerous he is as a front runner. He is in front and he is running. Well, he's won the last four legs, the longest of which was 14. Observationally, for the fact he's doing it on multiple targets. Case in point just there. Brendan Dolan's going to need another of these one treble combos. Took out the 101 earlier. He's not going to take the 120. No, and he's relying on something which just isn't happening right now, which is a little miss. Luke, you require 56. To tear off into a 2 0 lead. There's a smirk on his face. Why wouldn't there be? Because it is all going Luke Littler's way. 2 0 to the teenager. Classic way, 20s, 18s, but 60. as a setup visit, slash. Feels an important passage of play, this. Brendan Dolan to take the set. Single 18. Double 16. Seven Luke require 111. Set dart missed. Littler. Oh, look at this. Oh, Luke Littler. 111 checkout to break the throw. He's back in charge of this set. He has the darts and he's looking for a 3 0 lead. They're the sorts of shots. That Hasn't had that little extra needed to put the set away. Real frustration there. Well, the white flag being waved by Brendan Dolan in this leg and in this set. The set that he had a dart to win. And Luke Littler. He was looking to go double-double there. And the danger is he miss outside, and he's going to have to use another dart. But again, we're in that situation where he's so far clear, he can kind of do what he wants. If he wants to show off, show off. Roll with his off hand, whatever he likes here, he's that far ahead. Double top. It is 3-0 to Luke Littler. A 3-0 set where he blitzed Dolan. Two which he has won 3-2 and he has been in trouble and then found a gear in the world at the moment thing the possibility of being the world champion and ergo the best player in the world 96 Brendan require 142 142 for Brendan does he stay there he does to leave double 11 Brendan Dolan, brilliant checkout, holds his throw. Look, we have already seen a game today where somebody's gone 4-0 down in sets. It isn't a must. If it is Luke, one of the arguments why Rob could deal with him, there, or, or some of the arguments, they're basically all along the same lines as why we thought Brendan might have a chance, if any here. Me probably more strongly than you. But this sort of performance in the face of it 99. really makes him look good to get to the final even. Well, he needs to get to the semis first. But he is doing his job. And he's doing it admirably. The average is still over 102 here. He's hitting more than half his darts at double. And it feels like there's still levels. There are still gears to go to. Luke requires 60. 
Well, he's been asked a question here. It's the double ten. So reliable. Gets the break a throw. Now has the throw to put himself one set away from the semis at the age of 60. Sturden frustrated. Up to the twenties. Leaves himself sixty. He's just taken that out. If he does it again, it's a four-nil lead in sets and a race to five. And one way to be a good, consistent performer and winner is to keep leaving your, taking yourself down the same roads, the same courses, time after time, and you hit them time after time. It shows the plan is working. And it is working perfectly. Luke Little is strolling through this quarter final. This should be big, this should be huge. And he is just having an afternoon where everything's going to plan. On a double after 12, because he started the leg, and now Dolan might just get that one dart at bowl, which he's achieved that before. He still could do that. It'll be 19. So he wants to travel so he can leave the double six. Bullseye it'll have to be and the bullseye is missed six perfect darts to start the leg And Littler allows him back to the board Double eight And he busts his score. It flies into the double 11. And Brendan Dolan, he's not had many opportunities to win legs in this match. That's only the seventh leg he's had darts to win. But he'll get more darts in this one. I was actually kind of surprised that he couldn't use that first dart at double 10 as a marker go right alongside it because we've been praising his most excellent grouping. Well, that one didn't find its way into double 11. Brendan Dolan does take the gift. A gift he'd earned, to be fair, with that brilliant start to the leg, but perhaps one that he didn't expect he'd have so many opportunities to. One run on 26. Brendan require 151. Got to be perfect, and it isn't. And Little will get more opportunities, having missed all those darts in the previous leg. Yeah, it's, it's a break-back situation, so... Completely put him right if he gets this tops. Uh, double ten. Well, head shaking going on. A little early for that, because he's been so good throughout. He'll learn as he gets older. Okay, he wants to be perfect, but you can't be perfect. Game shot. Brendan Dolan goes 2-0 up Brandon in this set. Is there life in this quarterfinal? 70, he's guaranteed a look at it, but he may only get a look at that. Oh, my. Great adjustment, Brendan Dolan. 85. Yeah. That was a good enough job. But it's Littler for the 170. Oh, it's so simple. Just that grouping let him down that little bit there, and he picks off the bull to leave tops. And it's a Dolan special needed if he wants to take the set. Single A team for tops to get a set. He's still in this, Brendan Dolan. He is not backing down. Luke Littler has had it all his own way for so much of this game, but Brendan Dolan is hanging on. He's been threatening that for a long old while in this game. The 162, and it leaves the 140. The old Rob Cross signature shot. Faulty. 
Well, he could stay there, couldn't he? And he does. Oh, it's beautiful. Just like Rob Cross. 162, 140 out on double 16. Even Brendan Dolan gave that a nod of acknowledgement. Telling him to simmer down. I think they thought it was another match. Hit five in this game. I mean, he's pretty good going, but it's nowhere near his top level. But it's been more than enough. It's another ton plus average. <laughs> he's done it again. It's a 162 to leave 140. Well, I guess we know where he's going next if Brendan doesn't take the 164. He literally did this two legs ago. He could do it again. Oh, it's just the wrong side of the wire. Well, it is a chance for Brendan to keep the match alive. He's hoping he can get two darts for double available. It won't be that. One dart to save the match. And he's unable to do it. Luke Littler. Double four for a semi-final spot. There is no sign of this teenage dream coming to an end. Luke Littler sweeps aside another brilliant darts player with his own brand of magnificence. Huge performance, another big average, and yet another win on this stage.